hey, Gina. Um, you said, why, why'd you say I respond to Little Loca and Zen Archer and people with Lonely Girl and people with, I mean, I made a video response to Lonely Girl once. Made a couple responses to Boheem, one to Renetto. I think I've made about 40 video responses. The last video response I made was to a girl named Christina. I don't know how many subscribers she's got. And then there was, oh, I did one to Greg Solomon. He's causing a lot of chaos right now. Did one to Bo Ben Boheme, that Why Do You YouTube one. Um, because I realized he did what I did. He asked a question and then he didn't answer it himself. Made a response to uh, Philip, to Tina. Um, I bring him booze and bring. I'm bringing boozing ba booze back, boozing back. Warren's girl, Warren's wife. I did uh, one to Dylan. Um, I don't think he had really. I don't think he had any subscribe. I don't know if he has subscribers or not. I. Uh, uh, well, you said you didn't, weren't watching my videos. Why are you talking about? all this? Why are you making all these decisions about what I'm doing? Um, I don't get it. I, this, I don't understand. I just, yeah, I think it's because I'm not talking to you recently. I think you're getting fucking pissed off about it. You feel neglected. Why else would you be angry? And so you know, when we were in that conversation, it was, what, wattage cat. I was talking to him and I went and had a conversation with him. I haven't had two conversations with him. And as far as I can tell, he chilled out. I think people. Um. I, uh. I've been talking a lot about. Well, for me, you say you asked me when the last time I said anything was. I, I really feel like I'm communicating with people with these video responses. I had an idea for Google a little while ago um, about putting video, like video communication, real-time video communication on uh, on the YouTube page, adding that technology, upgrading the page. Did a video talking to Terry about uh, Tim and Tim's death, and I, I really got in touch with pain in that. I, I made a video um, about marijuana and drugs in which Thomas made a video response kind of making fun of me. Say, because I said I don't do drugs, I smoke weed, but I don't do anything to poison my body. It's a little extreme. I mean, caffeine's a drug. But do you do drugs if you drink coffee? Are you a drug addict if you have a cup of coffee every day? Technically, yeah, you're a drug addict. I mean, weed's really, really, really mild drug. I don't do hard drugs. I don't do drugs that take your body over. I don't get into that shit. I don't even touch it. I've never done a drug other than marijuana and nicotine. No, yeah, nicotine. Oh yeah, cigarettes. Nicotine's a drug. Nicotine's as addictive as heroin. You smoke cigarettes, are you a drug addict? Yeah, you are. Come on, you guys. The term drug addict is it's a hard rep, man. Drugs are what they are. All it is is a non-food substance that you take in. That affects your body in some way. I did a video called Fear a little while ago where I was answering my own question, what's your biggest fear? And I talked about my dad and how my relationship with him is uh, one, of the <coughs> one of the scariest things I've ever confronted. And then I, I didn't even confront it. I haven't talked to him much recently. Um... Yeah, I think you're burying yourself in this. I really do. I mean, at least you're talking now. What? And I didn't say there's no point in communicating. I said there's no point in communicating in text. It doesn't accomplish anything. And I, also, I never said you're wrong. You go print up something where I said you were wrong, or you get a copy of me saying you're wrong. I never said you were wrong because you're not. I'm telling you what I see. I'm telling you my perception of the situation, and you're getting pissed off. That's what's happening. You're not listening to me. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you berate me. 
you didn't say anything constructive in that video. You didn't talk about the way you feel. You just talked about how I'm fucking a bad person that is boring and that you're not interested in anymore. Like, it's all about... Get your shit together. See, that was a, that was a brace of thing to say. Get your shit together. And I don't want to have hostility towards you at all. So I gotta let go of the video you made and just live in the moment right now. Because I don't have any hostility towards you at all, actually. At all. Um, I think it comes from neglect. See, that's what's happening. I've noticed like people like uh, Eric, Bishop Kelt, we weren't talking, we haven't talked much recently, and then it, he just kind of withdrew. and He hasn't said anything angry towards me, but maybe I'm projecting it. I, I mean, and then if I don't talk to Terry for a, couple, a, a week or something, I'll get a message and say, are you mad at me? Like, I can't talk to everybody. I can't. And I'm focusing more now on making, meeting new people. I'm constantly meeting new people, developing a relationship and then moving on and meeting a new person. I can't be friends with everyone all the time. I can't do it. I cannot do it. It is impossible time-wise to do it. Now that's nothing I can do about it. It's, it's, you know, I, I'm interested in people that are interested in themselves. I'm interested in people that are delving into their own minds, not people that are fucking making fun of other people. That's boring as hell to me. It makes me nervous, puts me on edge. I don't want to be around it. I want to diffuse it. I want to make it go away so that we can come back to experiencing our own, our own life and not worrying about the other people. Yeah, I think the fact that they called you, all that stuff that you were experiencing, they said they're gonna kill your kids, they're not gonna kill your kids. They have no intention of killing your kids. It's irrational. They wanted a reaction out of you and they got it, and now they're still getting it. I appreciate you making the video, though. As painful as it, as it is to hear all that shit, thanks for doing it. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you later.